Welcome to Kew Gardens. Many of you will be familiar with the botanical gardens, but today we're in the nearby village in West London, and it's an absolutely stunning place to be. This week we cook up a barbecue and Marcus makes a salsa just like he did on Ready Steady Cook. I'm also in the garden planting seeds and we're going to take a trip further down the railway line to Richmond and of course we will call in at the real Kew Gardens as well. So let's get started. We're having a barbecue. Marcus is going to make a nice salsa in the kitchen. Well, if you're having a barbecue, it's always nice to have some refreshing salsa to go with it. And I learned to make some on Ready Steady Cook. So I'm going to have a go for the first time since then. Again, I've got my pestle and mortar here. Now, the first thing that uh, Ellis taught me was that um, when you've got your tomatoes, you don't just bung them in. And, uh, and start bashing because they'll explode, they'll go everywhere. So we're gonna cut the tomatoes into quarters first of all. And just pop them straight into the, the pestle. Is it the pestle or the mortar? I can never tell which is which. I don't know my from my elbow. So uh, do the two tomatoes, two small tomatoes there going in. God, that seems like quite a lot. Uh, to that I'm going to add some onion and Paul has very kindly uh, chopped some red and white onion for me. Uh, I'm going to do a bit more bashing first of all with the cleaver onto some garlic. So, oh, where did it go? One, two, I'm going to chop my finger off. Three cloves of garlic, get rid of the skins, get rid of the skins, get rid of the skins. There we go. And so I'm just going to take a, a paring knife. And I know I'm not doing this with my fingers very well, and I'll chop my fingers off eventually, but you get the idea. Just to finally chop that first of all before I add it into the into the mix. So there we go, put that in as well and just a little bit of, uh, of pepper, um, it's entirely up to you how much you want to put in. I'm not a huge fan of hot peppers like this but uh, just add a little bit. On the show um, I almost ran out of time. Ellis was saying oh just hurry up you need to get that, get that, get that started. And I said, well, I just want a little bit of pepper. Okay, so this is the fun bit now. Where we start squishing it down first of all. I'm not going to bash it too much first because it will go everywhere. I'm going to squish, squish, squish. And squash, squash, squash. It's very therapeutic, this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You get all these surrounding bits in. It's very mushy. But then that is what salsa is. So we'll keep... Mushing around like this, mushy, 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 it's going everywhere. I think we'll have to do a section on cleaning the kitchen after this. Right, this is where the fun, fun bit starts now. Want these tomatoes all nicely mushed up. Well, as you can see, I've mushed it down quite well there. So we want to just season it a little bit with some pepper and a little bit of salt like that. And I've got a spoon here, so I'm just going to stir that around. And we will serve this outdoors with our lovely sausages and burgers and veg. So I'm just going to spoon it into two bowls. Here, one for me and 
one for Paul. Get some of the lovely tomato in. So there we go. One. Last little bit in. All the juice, all the onion. Yeah, that's all. that's all right. There we go. So that will go down very well with the, the burgers and sausages. Well, we'll see more of that lovely salsa later on. But now let's take a look at the real Kew Gardens. Well, the other one. This is down here. The Royal Botanic Gardens at Kew cover 300 acres in West London. The UNESCO World Heritage Site dates back to the early 18th century. Among the garden's most striking features are the Palm House and Great Pagoda. You will find more than 50,000 living plants at this fascinating site, making it the perfect day out to enjoy nature at its best. gardens sure did look good. They certainly did. Well, I'm feeling hungry now, so I think it's about time that Paul whipped up a lovely barbecue in our garden. Let's enjoy a barbecue. Here are my tips for a fuss-free barbecue. I will start by putting the sausages and burgers into the oven to pre-cook. I don't normally trust the length of time it takes to cook on an open grill. It's hard to say how long the meat will take to cook. You don't need to pre-cook vegetables, you know. Safety is key. So never leave your barbecue on flammable surfaces. So what we are doing is using a pot to prop up the barbecue and these two bowls. And we will put the barbecue on top of this. I have aubergines, courgette, and peppers. I have also added an aubergine because I felt like we weren't getting enough vegetables. So the pineapple will come later. So I am adding Monterey Jack to the burgers. Salsa. 
This looks done, right? Yeah. Mmm, delicious. Cheers, everyone. Well, I've been coming to Kew Gardens for the past 20 years. In fact, it's the first place in London I lived in when I moved down here. And there's so many fabulous places to look at, the bars, the shops, little independent shops, uh, little cafes and everything. It's a great place for a day out. And of course, if you do want to go to the botanical gardens, they're only a few yards down the road. In fact, it's just a perfect place to spend a day. And there's a lovely little station here, which takes you into nearby Richmond. We're going to be going there later. But right now, let's take a little look at some planting. And I'm going to seed in my garden. You don't need a garden to plant seeds. A small pot on a windowsill also does the job. No matter how big or small your patch, it's a quick and easy way to enjoy nature. So I've got my seeds and I find this lovely little patch of, of earth here uh, in the garden, which I think is a good spot uh, to plant them. So first thing, I'm just going to rip open the packet, like that, don't worry, I'm not going to litter, I will take it away with me later. And on this little area here, where there's no grass or anything growing, I'm just going to uh, lightly sprinkle them. There we go. All over that area. Put them all out. Um, I've got a trowel handy with a little bit of, uh, of earth. And you don't need a lot, but just a little bit of, a tiny bit of soil just to go over the top of it. Your seeds just like that. Lightly sprinkled. Uh, if you've got a watering can, you could then use that for the next bit. Um, they do need a little bit of water, and I do mean a little bit. So I've got um, a little bowl with some water here. I don't have a watering can. And I'm literally just going to put my fingers in here and sprinkle a little bit of water over the top. Um, you could keep watering them a little bit each day, especially in very hot, sunny weather, if there is any at the time that you're planting and uh, hopefully in a few weeks we'll see some wildflowers in this bare patch. Okay, I'm done. Before we leave Kew Gardens we're going to take a step up over the bridge and see what's on the other side because there are two sides to this village. Well, on this side of Kew, there's lovely little shops and cafes, restaurants as well. On a sunny day like this, it really does make for a fantastic atmosphere. And as much as we'd like to spend the whole day here, we're now going to take the train uh, down to Richmond. It's just down the line. So, uh, masks on, let's head towards the station. So let's take a look around Richmond.
you could enjoy one of the quaint little streets. Or the buzzing Richmond Green. But our favourite spot is down by the river and on a glorious sunny day like this, you couldn't ask for anything better. <laughs> That's it from the glorious Richmond and the River Thames. Well, we're going to be back in another part of London next week, central London, and we haven't been there since March 2020. So we'll enjoy this music down by the river here in Richmond, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.